What I love about this time of year is that I finally get enough time to get out and discover the culinary delights that have popped up around town. So if you haven't heard the latest gourmet word on the street, then here's a list of things that I reckon you should seek out and try. First, burger theory. These boutique burgers are so good, crowds flock to Pearl, their mobile kitchen truck. And the burgers? Well, they make them the way burgers should be made, with fresh, high-quality ingredients, each creation cooked to order. But you need to watch their website or Facebook page to see where Pearl will pop up next. Would you like chilli and soy is the catch cry of my next recommendation. Sunta rolls. The specialty here is delicious salads and mouth-watering Vietnamese rolls. So good that the lunchtime crowds queue out the door. They're all onto the fact that for less than a fiver you'll pick up a very tasty lunch here. Bit of a sweet tooth? Then you can't go past the Mac Factory on Hutt Street. I mean, who could resist these colourful, mouth-watering macarons? In the last few years, it was all about the cupcake. But now, the humble macaron has made a comeback and is proving equally as popular. And with flavours like salted caramel and raspberry, they are well worth searching out. Mm, that is great. Just look for the Parisian-style black and white awnings above the Hutt Street post office. My tip, get in early. These babies sell out fast. Speaking of sweet treats, this is the first traditional Japanese crepe shop in Adelaide. It's cute, pink and the Harajuku answer to the plain old pancake. In Japan they like to eat on the run, so you'll get your sweet or savoury crepe served up in a handy paper cone. From city bites to seaside delights, now that the warmer weather is upon us, it's a great time to catch up with friends and what better way than over a long lunch in a picturesque location. Brand new on the scene is Horta's at Port Norlunga. The foreshore here has had a $15 million makeover and as owner Philippe says, the Esplanade's a top spot to sit, eat and enjoy the good life. You can come in for a cup of coffee, um, a glass of sangria, or a glass of wine, a, a bit of tapas, or just a cake and the coffee's up to you, or a three-course meal. And Paula, my wife, she actually was, uh, was uh, brought up in this area going back um, a few years ago. <laughs> Let's not say how many. And this is one of the most beautiful beaches in South Australia, I believe. Another great southern beach is Port Willunga, where a star is reborn. The Star of Greece restaurant has been a favourite for years, but it's just had a total revamp thanks to new owners Doug Govan of the Victory Hotel and Nikki Seymour-Smith. Well, Pete, we feel as though we're custodians of this magnificent South Australian icon. So we haven't done a lot, but we've put a fresh coat of paint, some brand new chairs, we've got an awesome team in the kitchen, and we're all about offering everybody, all of our visitors, an experience at the very top level that we can possibly offer. And food like this is well worth the drive. You cannot help but take this, this squid that comes freshly from right out the front of the restaurant, which is just fantastic. So there you have it, some tasty places to check out over the coming summer months. Whether it's just a quick bite or an all-day extravaganza, we really are spoilt for choice here in South Australia.